inside pawn. Compile. Play. B is seen only inside the pawn now because I do not have a B in my controller. If I open my controller and I go to class defaults, if I block the input, play B, nothing happens. M, it's only inside the controller. Spacebar, it's only inside the controller. So this is because of this logic. Both have to be met. Now I'm jumping from here all the way to pawn because I have the level blueprint not blocking input and not consuming any input. So how do we open the level blueprint? So we're gonna do a trick here. We're gonna do two things at the same time. I'm gonna click on the pawn, go to, blue, do, uh, go to blueprints, open level blueprint, must have opened. I'm going to delete what I have here. It's, so because I'm going to edit again, right click and I'm going to say create reference to my pawn because I selected it. It allows me to do that. And I'm going to say, oh, by the way, before we proceed, class defaults, I'm not blocking inputs. Because I'm not blocking inputs, I can push forward commands from player controller all the way to pawn. So I say if I want to push one, when I push number one, I want to possess, no, get player controller, and from player controller, I want to possess oh this is character I want the controller possess my pawn if I push number one compiled and let's see what happens so I'm going to remove this auto possess now and I'm going to play. So right now I'm floating, but if I push one, I'm missing something. Let me open the blueprints again. Okay, I push one, get player controller. Let me make sure that, oh, yeah, of course. Uh, opening this guy, I had block input enabled. So if I push number one, the input is going to come here and it's not going to go to the level blueprint. See, it's so easy to forget what's checked and what's not checked. So I'm going to remove that, compile and start again so I'm gonna push one I possess the player let me do it again for you okay I push play I'm, I'm pushing spacebar now you see spacebar inside I'm gonna push one I possess that pawn and I push spacebar and you see both controllers space is going to both the pawn and the controller now to the fun part. Let's put our demo actors. Remember these guys? If I click here from the first and second tutorial, if I put a number here, then they start moving left and right. I'm gonna add a couple of them, maybe more than a couple, and I'm gonna make this one be 10. This guy say for example 50, and the logic if you remember, the logic was if I reach left, etc. We did this, but now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say uh, 
spacebar if I push spacebar I'm gonna toggle direction and this is what I did not get working properly in the second tutorial now spacebar consume input let's not consume the input because I want spacebar to appear uh, as text in the player controller and the pawn let me make sure that block input is not selected okay so because I've done this now I can receive spacebar in this class I need oh one more thing I need to enable input um, see this I need to make sure that actor input is enabled and this is also something I forgot to do last time now let me see how let me make priority zero let me see how to uh, enable the input it's somewhere it's somewhere tick tock tick tock All right, so the input, we can automatically receive input by making sure that this guy is set to player zero. Now this can be done programmatically to make sure that you're receiving from the proper controller. You can get controller, enable input for that, etc. But what I want to show you is, let me put drastic changes on these. So let me make this just so that we have a actual visible behavior I'm putting these making these very large numbers 220 say okay save and now if I play now they're gonna keep going if I push spacebar all of them are supposed to change direction see I push spacebar spacebar again spacebar again spacebar again now I'm gonna push one I possess the pawn spacebar now you see spacebar is changing the direction and it's being forwarded to all um, the actors according to this diagram so now we have finished this exercise well actually one more thing um, if we set these to be different priorities these will make sense if we consume the input so I set actually I should not set it here um, let me go back uh, and make this zero by default so I'm starting with priority zero by default but I can go here click on that one and I say I want the priority to be one remember now I'm consuming the input click on this guy both are zero so if I play only one of them actually changes direction so now I'm pushing spacebar now because I'm consuming the input it's not gonna be forwarded to the player controller or to the uh, pawn so space 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 notice that this guy only this guy changes direction see space space and this is how priorities work I hope you like this video